Well, less than a half hour, well, just about a half hour. We just finished another episode of Clintus. I'm binge watching Clintus. He used to be a daily vlogger, and he mentioned this in uh, uh, this this episode of the vlog. It becomes a difficult task to determine whether or not you're putting out a good vlog or just simply putting out vlogs to do the job. A lot of times, what people don't necessarily understand, and this gets into the mind sometimes, is not necessarily about whether or not the flow is correct from your perspective. It's the audience. If the audience likes you, the person, and likes hanging out and likes having the discussion, that's the conversation, then the person's going to come by. I used to go by on a daily basis because he used to put out on a daily basis, so he was part of my YouTube stroll. He stopped doing on a daily basis, so now he's my binge watch. So what happens, I have a daily stroll. It's basically Yowie Vlogs. From Yowie Vlogs, I go to... It's 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 uh, it's our life. That's the riches. From there, I go to the Leroy's. Uh, from the Leroy's, I go to Our Family Nest. From Our Family Nest, I go from there to uh, Five Family Vlogs. And then they have... Five Family Vlogs has Briley Ann and Kayla. They have uh, Kayla. They all have uh, their own YouTube channels, and so do all the others. And so you go basically, you go up the list. You go up your, uh, uh, you, you you go up your, you, you do your stroll to from one end to the other end. And then you go backtrack and see what's within the groupings there, because each 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 vlog that I've gone to has produced offshoots. So I do the main route, and then I go do the offshoots afterwards. Uh, and the, the the main ones that I go to post on a daily basis. The ones that I do on an offshoot are the ones who post occasionally, maybe once or twice a week. And that's the way I that's the way I do things. And the thing is, is that Clintus is now doing uh, once or twice a week. And so he's not regular, and so he ends up falling off the schedule in terms of the YouTube stroll. And into the binge watching, so that's what we're doing now. We're doing binge watching, but he, binge watching, but he sort of mentions that he's not not too sure where he's going with the vlogs anymore because he's doing a lot of other things. And mm, this is the problem. Sometimes when your band, brand grows, and he's, he's he's got too many plates spinning. It's hard to keep everything organized, and so what happens? He tries to personally reach out. And, and, and direct message people. Uh, my perspective is I answer the comments that are left to me that I or that I find. I answer them here in the video. I answer them in the vlog uh, as they come in. So that's sort of my perspective on things. Well, then that's, I don't really need to say that, but it's my as I'm stating my perspective already. That that that's a statement that's that's redundant and not not necessary. Bad grammar. It's always often hard to remember where your grammar standards are as you're speaking. They do fall off. It really depends on the level of fatigue that you have. And because we're 24-7 and I just simply take sleep breaks, I don't actually go to sleep like from, from night to morning. Uh, the fatigue level builds. And as that happens, the, co the coherence, the uh, grammar, the flow of the words falls off. And uh, you have massive gaps as I try to think of the proper way to say something or, or a proper phrasing. The other factor that comes in in terms of delaying my speech is that some topics are sensitive. And there are things, there are areas that I cannot touch on. And this is where it becomes difficult in terms of deciding how you're going to phrase something. So you give out information, but don't give out too much information. That's how you deal, have to deal with things that are sensitive, uh, particularly in the area of physics and other areas like physics. There are areas, these are areas in which certain topics lead into military weapons development, into weapons design. And most of the weapons design areas are classified. You can't talk about them. 
And so you have to be aware of this. You have to be aware that you can't go, you can't get out there and start blabbing your mouth about, you know, uh, 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 well, very dangerous and very deadly weapons. And so there's where the gaps come in. This is how some of the gaps fill in. But I will be bringing in more. I want to have a better inclusion in my life. I spend an enormous amount of time on Instagram. I also now moving on to TikTok as well. Uh, I'll show you some of my perusing around there. Uh, in addition to uh, some of the developments that I have going on on Instagram and TikTok. Oh, this is better. Um, it's kind of hot out. Uh, it's, it's just now cooling up, but the humidity is still hot up. It's about uh, oof, 10 30 on uh, Sunday, August uh, 23rd. And we still have another couple hours to go before we start the next vlog. So, next vlog, or in other words, end this. Uh, end this vlog and begin it again I don't know exactly what time that's going to be because uh, things uh, the weekend always throws uh, some sort of uh, complication into things where uh, the schedule shifts and it's typically here this is where, where, where I have these particular issues with the schedule and I check and make sure that there aren't any skunks around <laughs> Uh, oh, anyway, was it uh, last night or two nights ago? I had a skunk sneak up on me. I kind of didn't know where he was, and all of a sudden, and then uh, I turned to my I turned to my left, and there it was, uh, coming up the walkway. He didn't see me, but until I turned and saw it, and uh, well, the confrontation went that uh, he, he went one way, and I went the other way, and we went in two opposite directions. He went and hit in some bushes. I went. To, I thought he was going to go around the corner, but he didn't go around the corner. So that's weird. Uh, so I went back to to my back door to see if he went out that. That he was coming down that way, and he didn't. So I came back uh, to the front, and as I came back to the front, uh, I noticed that he had already passed and was heading out the walkway that goes to the back well, that's where the uh, garbage that's where the uh, garbage bin is and so that's where the skunk was going was going to the garbage bin <laughs> that, was, that was my that was my that was my encounter the weekends are is that the weekends are always bizarre and I said I do enjoy it out here but you do have to be wary of some of the nightlife that comes out and presents a uh, situation that uh, well, you don't want to get sprayed by a skunk, so. <laughs> I spent uh, the day, uh, we had lunch with the family. Uh, didn't end until, we didn't, I didn't get back to my place until about 6, 6.30. I typically watch a lot of cartoons. I, do, I did that. Um, I also did some more meditation. Uh, meditation is uh, on my, a regular thing on my schedule. But uh, it's a little different than what most people think. Uh, for most people, uh, you have uh, these gurus out there, and they're basically the feel-good gurus. That they, you do things to make yourself feel good, uh, and that's about it. In other words, it's, it's simply another form of pleasure. It, it, there is nothing really, they say it's spiritual, but it's not really spiritual. It's just kind of empty fluff. And that's kind of the thing is that my, my initial reaction to uh, the Yowie vlogs in terms of the, uh, the thing you are, the, the phrasing you are worth it. Oh, excuse me. Is that the phrase you are worth it is, a, is an empty platitude. It's words that make you feel, self feel good. But a lot of times, you, you, the case is, you're not feeling good. So, and just simply saying you are worth it doesn't change the factors. 
that caused you to feel that particular way that you're feeling now. And so what happens is that that's what I call an empty platitude is that these are sayings and phrases that really don't have any meaning because there are going to be issues in your life. There are going to be things that you really can't resolve easily. But that doesn't necessarily think, mean that, that, that something that that something positive can't come out of it. It just means that it's going to be a little more difficult than uh, we typically think. And this is what you see on TikTok. This is what you see. Uh, I think it was for me on TikTok, I'm in an Asian neighborhood, so uh, all the TikToks that come up are typically Asian. And they talk about their experiences. They talk about, you know, coming to coming to, coming to Canada. Some of the some of them are still in Japan, but they they have this sort of sense, the sense that they are aware who they are. They are aware that the that that in the American media, in the American view or the North American view, that they're not particularly welcome into called mainstream society because their values, their culture is fundamentally different. Uh, and the irony is, is that the, my culture is the same way. My culture is a lot like uh, the Asian culture because it is a pan-Asian culture. And we're talking today at dinner is how far uh, the cultures st uh, stretch in the Asian in the Asian uh, sphere, and then it goes all the way from called West Asia, Northwest Asia, which is where Greece is, and you have a culture that spreads from West Asia, and Northwest Asia, all the way across the uh, the Himalayas, all the way across into East Asia, and also throughout the South. I mean, the the, the Iranians were very closely uh, connected to the. Um, to the Indians, and so you have a, you you actually have a cross cultural spread between Iran and India, and this is a natural thing. But again, from a North American perspective, from the European perspective, they don't understand this. It's something that's not understood. Well, I'm trying out a new uh, vlogging location. I want to try out various different locations in my unit, uh, in my place to uh, to do the vlog with. And this is in the kitchen, so this is where I would be making lunch, uh, actually breakfast, uh, which is about uh, 9.30 in the morning uh, on the August 24th on Monday. This is not the beginning of the vlog for Monday, but it's the end of the weekend vlog. Uh, things get away from you. Uh, time gets away from you. And before you realize it, time has gone way past. And this, this is how the sh schedule shifts. Is that there are projects that you work on. Uh, one of the things that I was doing earlier is uh, I was doing uh, uh, gaming. The gaming I, I, Some of the gaming I do requires intense focus, so I do... Uh, meditation at the time because you're supposed to be able to do it is a practice to do that to whatever you're doing to meditate while you're doing what you're doing uh, in other words the meditation uh, which is a form of prayer meditation uh, you do not uh, cease the things you do during the day you add the meditation you bring yourself into that state of mind via the prayer uh, uh, no matter what you're doing so that the state of mind within meditation is omnipresent, is there all the time, or as much as possible. That's, that's the, the all the time is the goal, but we never actually achieve the goal, but we approach it uh, in whatever manner we can in terms of uh, the success rate of doing that. Uh, the mind does always drift. There's, there's always thoughts in the mind that come in that sort of break the focus. But the thing is, the goal is to see how much you can actually get done. Uh, we haven't, we didn't uh, do any of the YouTube stroll today, or or even yesterday. And that's what I'm saying today, because when there's no bedtime and no nighttime, uh, everything is just one massively long day. And so you were, last time you were awake, it's still part of, part of the, the it's still part of the, the today. I mean, this is what you get at the feel on the weekend. You get the feel for that one long day. Even though it's two days, it's, it behaves like it's one long day. It's just broken up into various different segments of different, different activities. Uh, but it's still fundamentally one very long day. 
But even when you're doing, when you're doing 24 hours, you're doing seven days a week, then the entire week sometimes blurs into one whole day, and this is where you lose track of time. You can't remember what you said, what you did. Uh, you try to go back and have some degree of consistency within the vlog in terms of what you're talking, talking about. But the thing is, sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes there are differences. There are the incoherences between the segments. Uh, not being coherent within the segment does not necessarily mean it's a bad vlog. It just means there are a number of things, a number of issues that we have in our discussion that uh, make the vlog incoherent because you bring different thoughts, different ideas, because this is the discussion, unless, of course, you're filming something that has an action to it, and you have everyone's permission to film now because you can't film kids anymore. Uh, and so what happens is that... Uh, you really have to have it, it, it. The spontaneity of YouTube vlogging is more or less gone. You can do it on other services, and that's what I've done. As I'm now spreading out to other services like BitChute and other places like that, that do allow a more uh, uh, freer hand. I mean, what happens is that the the assumption of YouTube is that everyone is going to be bad. In other words, it's guilty until proven innocent. And that should never be the case, because particularly if you're an American, you, you have these sense of rights and values, uh, of freedoms that um, really the rest of the world doesn't have. Uh, they're starting to get them, but the thing is, it's still in, uh, the progress towards it is a long way off, but the United States, unfortunately, is rolling backwards. Uh, well... <laughs> Other countries are moving forward, like China's moving forward with, with its opening us. It's certainly moving forward with, compared to what it was 30 years ago. But the United States is moving backwards. Canada has moved completely backwards. Now you can be arrested and fired for things you say. Does not sound like communist. Doesn't that, That's not freedom. That's not freedom of speech. Anyways, it doesn't matter how you're feeling. It doesn't matter... Uh, whether you're worth it or not, as you know, depending on how someone's treated you the day before or now or whatever. Uh, no refunds. You keep going because you keep going.